Hi, in this video I'm going to show you the basics of cello bow hold. It's very similar to violin and viola bow hold, but with a couple of differences. So we're going to start out the way they do. To hold the stick with your left hand, let your hand hang on the frog, of, this is called the frog of the bow, let your fingers hang over the frog of the bow, and your elbow should be level with the frog of the bow while you're shaking here. Don't have it down here like that because all, all of a sudden your hand is supinated instead of pronated. So keep your elbow out and your hand and fingers loosely shaking. Now notice that I'm not using my fingertips and I'm not using the palm of my hand. It's the middle of the fingers hanging on top of the stick and shaking so that you have some weight on top of the stick. All right, and then we're going to roll towards the index finger. That's called pronating. Um, now at this point, the violins and violas bring their pinky up on top, but cellos don't do that. Um, so your fingers are just sort of covering the frog. And at this point, we're going to bring the thumb up from below and we're going to place the tip of the thumb on a spot right in between the frog of the bow and the, um, the grip. Okay, so there should be a little spot there where um, it's just the wood of the stick of the bow and that's where your thumb should connect. Okay, not in here in the curve and that way out here, but right there on that spot in between. And it should go straight up at the stick, not sticking through. This would be bad. Okay, so you can see how my thumb is sticking through. That would be bad. You want to pull that back so that it kind of disappears and it's just the tip of the thumb on the, um, the, or sort of the corner of the tip of the thumb on the stick with your fingers hanging down the other side. Okay, so take a second, shake that out, make sure that it's all nice and loose and relaxed. We don't want any tension in the bow hand because as soon as you squeeze, then your arm locks up and then it, everything becomes much more difficult. Okay, so the more you can do with relaxation, the better. So take a second to get comfortable with that. Okay, while you're shaking and <laughs> relaxing your hand, I'm going to show you some, some of the things that beginning cellists do incorrectly with their bow hold. Sometimes they'll be pushing with the thumb and the hand starts to clip flop the wrong direction. Okay, this is called supination and this would be very bad, but it's very common because of the weight of the bow pulling down on this end. So, um, so it's important to be able to keep the hand this way. So to help my students that have trouble with that, I have cut a pool noodle. Uh, and I put a, a hole on the back side for the thumb and I cut a slit down the middle to be able to um, slide it on top of the bow like that. So your thumb should go in the hole on the back and hopefully you can line it up you know, where the edge of the frog is. There it is. And then your fingers are going to just sort of line up. I drew an a, a outline of where the fingers are supposed to go. They should be spaced apart just a little bit, not completely together and not terribly far apart. Just sort of loosely spaced apart like that. And when you bow, you should open and close your elbow, um, not completely swinging from the shoulder this way. Because if you do that, then the bow ends up crooked on the string. We want to keep it in a nice... Um, parallel line between the bridge and the fingerboard, so it should be perpendicular to the strings this way. So that gets a much better sound than this. Okay, that, that doesn't sound very good, okay? So we want to keep the hand pronated and opening and closing from the elbow so that the bow stays perpendicular to the strings, and that's how you get your best bow hold. I wouldn't recommend leaving this on for a long term, you know, maybe just try it out for a, a day or two, and then go back to playing without it so that you're used to, um, to holding the bow, you know, the way a professional cellist would. But that is the basics of cello bow hold, and if you take a few days or weeks to master that, um, it's going to be really effective in your playing, you're going to be able to play much more easily um, throughout some more advanced techniques. Okay, good job.